Hey, hey there, elites. How's it going? It's me, your boy Waddles. What'd you look at that? Another video. Welcome back. So, if you haven't heard, pretty big news, pretty big stuff. It actually just happened. Minecraft Live 2020 was officially just re announced. In today's quick video, we're going to talk about everything that we know about this upcoming event and why you definitely should care about it. Be big brain, slide down to the like button, press it, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and let's go. So first things first, Minecraft Live, what is it? Well, Minecraft Live is going to be a live stream. In that live stream, Minecraft's developers will reveal what's coming to Minecraft over the next year. Unless you're 2018's biome chooser vote, okay. I'm sorry, I'm not over it. Anyways, it'll be streamed live online on minecraft.net slash live and probably YouTube as well. Maybe Twitch too, but I'm not too sure on it. It'll be on October 3rd at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. That's a Saturday. The event is usually a couple hours long, but honestly, who knows this year? This year is definitely going to be very different due to COVID. Now, if you've been in the Minecraft community for, say, the past year and you've been paying attention to things, you probably know that this isn't the first time this has been announced. You see, earlier in 2020, before COVID-19, which honestly feels like five years ago now, something called the Minecraft Festival was announced. Minecraft Festival was going to be this big event weekend at the end of September. But then COVID-19 happened and Minecraft Festival went goodbye. According to the Minecraft Live announcement blog post, Minecraft Festival has been delayed currently until at least 2022. Hopefully by then things will be a little bit more normal and Minecraft Festival can actually happen because it did sound actually kind of cool. So the event that's now known as Minecraft Live is this year's version of Minecon, basically. During this live stream, we can expect to see different segments with the developers talking about what's coming to Minecraft in the next year. Now, a trailer was also dropped. I'm gonna go ahead and link that trailer down in the description. Check it out after this video. I'd like to start by saying that trailer is crazy cinematic. It is beautiful. There are some amazing shots in that trailer. But that's not the only cool thing about the trailer. The trailer also gave us a little bit of information about Minecraft Live. In fact, this is our first information, really, about the new Minecraft Live event. The first big thing that I noticed in the trailer has to do with the mobs. Mobs from all types of Minecraft were in this trailer. We're talking normal Minecraft mobs like chickens and baby zombies, but also Minecraft Earth mobs like the glowing squid. The trailer, of course, also had Dungeons mobs like this guy right here. Don't remember the guy's name. What I take from this is that this Minecraft live event is actually going to be about all three major versions of Minecraft now. Of course, we'll learn more about Minecraft, you know, the survival crafty game, but also Minecraft Earth and Minecraft Dungeons. In case you haven't been following, which I don't blame you, I haven't actually played in a while either, Minecraft Earth has been receiving updates. There are tons of new mobs and mechanics in the game. There's even this whole challenge season thing. It seems pretty cool. I only checked it out a little bit though. And Minecraft Dungeons, which launched earlier this year, has been going strong as well. There's the current DLCs and the updates. I have a pretty strong feeling that this year, Dungeons will get a couple more DLCs and some other updates announced at this Minecraft event. Now, you know what I say. I don't like to dig into things, but I also love to dig into things. This next one is potentially huge. And by huge, I mean huge updates. Take a look at this. This is a crisp screenshot from the reveal trailer. The reveal trailer stated huge updates. Typically at these Minecraft events, the next big Minecraft, uh, again, survival crafty game update is revealed. Last year, the Nether update was revealed. The year before that, the Village and Pillage update was revealed. This year at Minecraft Live, the next major Minecraft update definitely will be revealed. But will more updates be revealed too? Hmm. Now on the flip side, kind of the downside, huge updates could mean updates for Minecraft Earth, updates for Minecraft Dungeons, and updates for Minecraft Crafty Survival Game, but I don't know. We still have no information on Minecraft 1.17. If it stays that way, then I have a pretty strong feeling that 1.17 is going to be a big update that'll be revealed at Minecon. But we could also end up seeing 1.17 snapshots a little bit before this Minecraft event as well. Last year, the B-Update snapshots started dropping about a month before the Minecraft Live event. So this year at Minecraft Live, more than one large update will be announced. Will all of these updates be for normal Minecraft? I guess we'll have to wait and see. For the past two years at these Minecraft events, Mojang has done biome chooser fan votes. The fans vote on biomes to be updated. Now, currently we have five biomes that are on deck. They need to be updated. We have the mountains, the desert, the savannah, the swamp, and the badlands biome. That's a lot. This year, I am glad to say 
that Mojang isn't doing that. Instead, this year, during the Minecraft Live event, we'll be able to vote on Minecraft's next mob. Now, what does this mean? Well, aside from a new mob, I really don't know. You see, back when the update Aquatic was being revealed in 2017, we had a similar thing. There was a mob vote. The community voted on four mob concepts. The mob concept that won was the Phantom, and the Phantom was added into Minecraft. This year, I'm sure something similar will be happening, but I have one huge request, one gigantic hope. Hopefully, the mobs that are the losers aren't just scrapped forever like they were back in 2017. Hopefully, the loser mobs make it into the game as well. One final thing that I'd like to say, take a look at this guy right here. Baby zombie with the flower hat. How interesting. Is this one of the mobs that we'll be voting on? Probably not, but it's very interesting. Baby zombie flower helmet. Nice. So this year at Minecraft Live, the big community thing will be a mob vote. Should be interesting. But for Minecraft Live 2020 today, that's actually going to do it. I wanted to make this quick video to talk about the trailer and talk about what we can expect at this year's event. Would you like to see more Minecraft Live videos from me? Like things that I'd like to see? Let me know by leaving a like on this video and letting me know in the comments below. Today, I'd like to send a big shout out to my patron, Fred Monster. Thank you so much for the support. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe today to become an elite. Thanks for watching. It's been me, your boy Waddles, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.